Okay guys, um, what you're looking at today is the uh, top left hand side white metal or babbit bearing um, for the headstock on my ML7. I have, I'll maybe try it a little bit, I've tried to get it as clear as possible for you. Um, but I, I don't want to lose the focus either, like I've just done. Uh, but basically, uh, I was polishing a bit of bar on the um, the lathe the other evening, and the chuck just stopped. <coughs> now, I'd, I had filled the caps or the cups prior to operating the lathe but neither cap has any a wick in it so it just drains straight through now I'm fairly certain there was still oil left in the cap I'd only been polishing for a matter of 10 20 minutes um, but I'll, when the chuck stopped I immediately switched the lathe off and checked the um, the um, top tops of the, the bearing housing and the one on the left was indeed quite hot to the touch. Now it's been suggested that I possibly had the um, the bush which tightens up on the um, thrust bearing it was possibly too tight but on checking that it was finger tight at best so uh, and then secured in place with the grub screw so it was certainly sufficient to stop any uh, lateral play on the, the, sh the shaft or so the spindle and indeed there was a little bit of play uh, up and down and in and out on the chuck but no more than I could um, take out of the shaft by simply tightening down on the, the cap screws. Uh, I have a, an equal amount of packing um, between all the um, bearing caps and the top of the headstock and I had the uh, cap screws all tightened down um, su sufficiently to minimize any play on the, the chuck but not as tight as to cause the chuck to be difficult to turn by hand. And I'd taken up all the slack on the thrust bearing so that there's no uh, lateral play on the chuck either. And I, I don't really know what else I can do um, with it other than that. Um, however, this state of affairs here is not, you know, it's good enough. It's, I'm getting a poor finish um, on my cuts and bearing, the bearing seizing up like this is, well obviously there's something wrong. Um, to the touch, I can't really feel any scoring there, so I may have been lucky, you know, but if you look at it, you can certainly see areas that have been polished by the um, the the heating of the the bearing, and there are some very very slight score marks in it. I'll see if I can get a better picture, but this camera is really poor for uh, focusing. Um, let's try and zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, that's not too bad there now, I guess. You can see what I'm referring to now, I hope. Um, it looks, you know, quite bad really. But I certainly can't feel any scoring in it. So it, it might just, I might, have, I might have got off with it. But I am concerned by it. Um, 
and frustrated. I really want to be turning and not fucking around fixing it up. Oops. So, yeah, what did I do about this? Um, Again, the uh, the shaft doesn't seem to have taken any damage that I can feel. Although again, there is visible markings on it. There's certainly. Nothing detectable by by touch, and I'm I'm usually quite good at uh, taking out the touch because that's basically my trade. I'm now revolving it by um, just moving the chuck. Really, you know, I'll hold this way. There's, there's no way any anything holding the chuck down on at this end at the moment. But the collar for the thrust washer, I have actually slit a slight slackened off at the moment. But basically, all I've done with it in the past is tighten it up finger tight like that. You, know, you can see that as I tighten it up it starts to get stiff slightly there and then indeed with any further pressure the whole shaft assembly starts to rotate. All right, and at that point then I just tighten up the grub screw. Whether that's the correct method or not I don't know um, but I can't see it doing any damage to the, the thrust um, bearing in here um, there's plenty of oil as you can see in about the, the shaft um, so I don't think a lack of lubrication was a problem um, so yeah I'm a bit, a little bit disappointed, a bit frustrated uh, I thought the lathe was pretty much good to go now and I'm um, encountering these problems but hey it's all part of the fun of it I guess. Um, it's all good experience. So um, that, that, this is my what my 14th update. Um, I'll show you one of the items I turned out the other day. Um, just a bit of bar. I was going to make a small height gauge out of it. It's not completed yet. Um, try and get a better picture for you. No, camera does not want to focus. I'm not sure if I like Samsung. They never just seem to live up to the, the hype. Maybe they didn't too far there. Hold on. Focus, you fucker. Let's zoom out again. Now that's where at, at minimum zoom. I just move the camera lens in close. Surface finish basically is 
much yet. Um, I'm really disappointed with the the surface finish I'm getting. Um, let's see if I can get it with less light on the matter, maybe. You can see all the. Uh, it's like it's tearing almost. Now, I'm 40, and unfortunately, I I went through my training using tipped cutters most of the time. So you know, HSS being fairly obsolete these days in a manufacturing environment anyway. So I'm not entirely um, experienced with using HSS. So it's maybe a lack of experience on my part. But yeah, I think you can see there that the, the finish is pretty pure. And I, I've actually polished that up a little bit with um, some sandpaper. And you can definitely feel the roughness of the, the, the bit of bar there, the now. So yeah, anyway, that's, that's, you know, that's about all I've done with the lathe. I'm just going to, um, I was going to use it as a practice piece and possibly make a little height, um, tool height gauge out of it for checking my uh, tool height <coughs> when the the chuck stopped. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll leave that at that, at that now, folks, and um, I'm going to get some advice from the Myford Lathe say, chat room. Um, see what their consensus is and just go with that I guess. But as you can see, she was cutting metal. Nice blue chips there. So I, was, I was quite pleased with that initially, but then I thought I'd just um, make some minor adjustments to improve upon the surface finish when the bearing name um, or the, the cup had some issue. Well, that's one final thing I'll mention before I go. Um, these cups, they don't hold a lot of oil. And I quite like them, though, in, in, in so much as they are unobtrusive. They're, they're small and they're out of the way. And you know, they kind of look good, too. But there's no wicks in them so I, I don't know how quickly they'll they'll actually drain of oil it's it is quite difficult to see inside them you know uh, without a torch you've got to open it and then look in that little hole there so there's there's not a lot of light in here to see what level of oil it is so it's possibly that this possible that this one ran dry for a, a, a moment hopefully I've gotten away with it but as much as I like these cups, um, I may replace them with the, the drip oil feeders with the sight glasses uh, because then it's much more um, clear to see whether or not they need oil. So yeah. Okay guys, that's fucking coming up for 14 minutes already. Um, hope you enjoyed this um, uh, brief um, or this short... Um, report on the issues I'm currently experiencing. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.